Hey guys, here today with another quick look, first look, unboxing of uh, this product I just got in yesterday from banggood.com. This was provided free of charge for my testing and review. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Show you what's in the box. Give you a hint. The Racer Star. These are the, well, let me turn the box, the RF 2205 2600 kV motors. Now, let me tell you, the RF series is supposed to be Racer Star's top of the line, top performance, top performance models or series. Um, so I'm really excited to test this. It's going to be my first 2600 kV motor. So I'm really excited about that. Here we have the boxing. It was wrapped in plastic. I took the plastic off. Um, so here we have the RF 2205 2600s. Uh, have a little box down here, which I'm assuming has the mounting hardware. <clears throat> yeah, I got old school caps. Mm. Come on, uh, Bang Good, Razor Star. I think everyone's pretty much on nylon lock nuts now. Uh, I think we can get rid of these. And looks like only one size of mounting hardware. Um, just don't look pretty that long, so I think these are probably going to be for a three millimeter frame. So you might have to get your own uh, mounting hardware, or you know, they may come with a. Uh, different sizes when the actual production models start shipping. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pack that to the side. Go ahead and show you here, a little closer look. As you can see on top, um, the clockwise rotation ones, I'm not sure if that's rotation or thread, but whichever ones, clockwise, clockwise ones have a little indentation on the top. The counterclockwise ones don't. Um, let's go ahead and Lift this up, show you here how it's packaged. Show you the bottoms here. Now the pictures on Banga made these look pretty bad on the, the pictures for the holes being misaligned. But as you can see, uh, it's, it's a pretty decent hole pattern. They look pretty centered and good enough for me. Um, has the Allen, the two millimeter uh, hex instead of the C-clip, which is always a plus in my book. Um, the wires, pretty flexible, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and pop one out. Not too much on the side, just the Racer Star logo. Um, give it a spin. Nice and smooth. Uh, don't really see any issues with this. Let me see. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. You see right here, you can see the little, little reflection. I would say that cut is not the cleanest. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, if I want to be nitpicky. Um, let's go ahead and give you guys a weight real quick. Weight with full wire, it's about 30 and a half gram, a little under 30 and a half. Uh, I'm pretty sure once you snip the wire a little bit, you'd be under 30. Um, so, you know, not the lightest, not the heaviest. Um, I'm really excited about this though. Like I said, it's my first 2600 KV. I plan to throw it on this guy, my MQC1. And I've had kind of a part for a while, testing certain different things on it. That's why the wires are all over the place. Got my TBS power cube right here. Um, these are some pretty powerful ESCs, so it should be able to handle the extra amps uh, pretty good. And you know, now that I've got my IA6C, I can put this guy back together. So, um, look forward to this. Hopefully, I can get this uh, back up and put together in a few days um, by the weekend, hopefully. But yeah, just want to give you guys the first look. If you guys got any uh, questions or comments, Please leave them below. Um, if it's your first time here, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah. I think that's about it, guys.
Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.